Hey guys! So today I just have some plant maintenance things to do and I thought we could do them together. Why not, <laughs> right? When I'm not filming, I do all my plant chores while watching people do their plant chores. I don't know, it's like motivating to me or something. And not only that, but I've bought two new plants and I don't really buy plants anymore. I, I honestly, I haven't bought a plant in over a year, I don't think. I'm trying to think but my brain is not firing the way it should be. But I don't think that I bought a plant in a long, long time. I'm gonna show them to you really quick. The first plant I got is a, oh, let me look at, let me look at my order thing so I remember the name. There we go. This first plant I have had before. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might remember it. And when I moved, I did get rid of this plant, but I loved it a lot. I decided to get another one. Now that I'm more established in my routine in this house, you know, okay. So it is a lavender scallops kalanchoe. It's a little dry. Definitely needs some water. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get it potted up, give it a little drinkity drink because it is a little bit crispy crusty. Okay, so lavender scallops. I'm just gonna set that right there. And then, and then another plant I used to have and got rid of when I moved is a kalanchoe. The succulent box calls it a kalanchoe panamensis, but I know it actually is a kalanchoe Mariana, something with an M. <laughs> if you know the name of this, please leave it down below. But I had a big one, I had a, well, okay. It was smaller than this. It was probably like, it was two stems. So it was like this, this part of it, just the two. But it grew so fast, so wild. I loved it a lot. Again, it is a little bit crispy crusty. It's like the leaves are falling off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> we need to get it potted up and watered. Uh, let's go get some stuff and get started. I'm gonna take you where no man has been before. <laughs> I'm gonna show you where I store all my planters right now. Plant all my planters these days. I didn't show it to you, but I have a Hoya polyneura that's ready to be repotted. So I'm also going to grab a planter for that. Anyway, okay, here's where I store my planters. Just in the garage. This is kind of my plant supply. I mean, okay, there's there's kind of some random stuff, but a bunch of plant supplies on these two rows. I guess up here too, like terrariums, planters there, and then Halloween supplies, all the good stuff. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use, oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I should not be showing you my garage. <laughs> it's a mess. Oh my gosh, no matter where I put my camera, it's super mess. Go. So before we get into the repotting, I also have this Hoya polyneura. It's not like super root bound. I could definitely wait to repot it, but uh, I just had it in a nursery pot. I think I wanna move it into a terracotta. That's actually what I like to grow my Hoya in. I know there's a whole thing about growing Hoya in terracotta, or I know this isn't terracotta, it's balsam something like that, basalt. I know there's a whole thing about terracotta and that because it's super porous and the roots can get stuck on them, but I've personally never had a problem with that. So that's just the route I'm going to take. I am just going to keep it in soil growing in there. So, you know, that's going to be really easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way since it's kind of big and it is already depotted because I was going to repot it before I went on a camping trip. I pulled it out of its pot, did something with the uh, with its pot, and then realized I didn't have time to get it potted up. So I just, you know, sat it aside until I got home. And it's fine, it is a little bit thirsty, like you can kind of tell. The leaves are a little bit, a little bit flimsy. That's how you can tell a hoya needs watered when they're when they're wrinkled or when they're just like flimsy and papery like this. So it does need this, but it was fine. It was fine. No harm, no foul. Oh, and I have just my regular soil potting mix here. I do have links to all of my favorite uh, potting substrates and products and things down in the description if you wanna check them out. So if you're curious what I'm using to pot up me plants, they're always linked down there. Well, okay, they're usually linked down there, but I do forget to link things a lot, so I'm sorry about that. Usually they're there though. And this is gonna be really easy. I'm not even gonna mess with the roots. You can mess with the roots. You don't have to mess with the roots. Sometimes I do, but where the plant is very thirsty right now, I don't think it's a good idea to be breaking up the roots. Um, if it was well watered, then I definitely would wiggle them around a little bit. But again, it's all just personal preference. Like that's really all plant care is, you know? Figuring out what works for you. And that's what works for me. You know, usually I am a big, big fan of breaking up the root ball a little bit because then it helps 
it helps the roots like grow outside of that cluster. And I mean, they can grow outside of that cluster anyway, even if you don't mess with the root ball. So, you know, again, it's not like necessary, but I do think it kind of helps. It helps jumpstart that, you know? I should have done this like on a tray or something. And I'm just using my hands. I'm just doing this the old fashioned way with my God given gardening tools. <laughs> you guys gotta tell me <laughs> where you're at, but lately I am feeling so motivated. I'm loving taking care of all my plants. I think it's because I'm finally like sufficient in vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long, dark winter. How about you guys? Well, I think I got it in there. I'm gonna go ahead and water it in the sink. Well, pat it around the edges really quick. Fill in a little bit. And this is like a super, super chunky potting mix. Like I said, everything, I do mix my own soil. So all of these things mixed up in here will be linked down below. It is super chunky. I need to go get a Saucer, that's the word. I couldn't think of the word. For some reason I thought this one was gonna fit, but it's definitely not. Yeah, it's definitely not. So I'm gonna use this one, and even though it's dirty, that doesn't bug me. I don't know why, maybe it should bug me. Does it bug you? I don't know, let me know. Okay, and I'm gonna water it with a little bit, okay, not a little bit, um, kind of a lot of bit of liquid dirt water, just kind of all the way around to help the soil settle. <laughs> Is it gonna overfill? Maybe. Okay, and I'm actually going to set this aside and not empty the saucer and just let it suck it up because it is very, very dry. Um, because like I said, it was sitting here for five days while I was camping. <laughs> Oops, I'm so sorry, but it'll be okay. I'm just gonna set it over here. Onward. Okay, next are the Kalanchoe, which I am going to plant into nursery pots and then put them in cover pots just because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so this one's gonna go in here. Do I wanna cut it and start over? I kinda think I do. I think I'm gonna, going to pull off these bottom leaves. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut it with some regular scissors. And I could plant this and I think it would grow, but I'm just gonna go ahead and plant this. Put some soil in here. like so, and just stick it in. Easy as that. Right, okay. And now we got a waterer. Well, maybe I'm gonna put a little more soil to help hold it up. And yeah, just give it a good water. And I will just keep this um, a little damp. I'm not gonna let it dry out completely 100%, but I am going to let it dry out a little bit. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to water it a bit more frequently than I would if it was already rooted. That's how I've had the best success rooting like more succulent type plants um, in soil. I do not like to use the propagation box method for succulents. I, I've just never had luck with that, honestly. Well, Hoya, I guess, are more succulent type plants, but you know what I mean? For like this kind of succulent. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna let it soak in this. Oh, and it is going to, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. It is going to live in this pot. It'll be really cute. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the water in there and let it be in there. So there's the Kalanchoe lavender scallops a little bit <laughs> mangled from the journey to my house. And last up, we have this Kalanchoe. I bought it as a Panamensis. I know that's not what it is. It's like Marariana, Mariana. Ah, it's gonna drive me crazy. In the middle of the night tonight, I'm gonna jolt awake out of bed and be like, blah, 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 with whatever, Kalanchoe, blah, 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 whatever the name actually is. It, that is if I'm able to get to sleep because I can't remember it. It drives me nuts. It really, really, really drives me nuts. But this memory ain't what it used to be. Okay, so I just got a little bit of soil there. I'm gonna plop these babies in. Well, I'm gonna take a little bit out. I put a little bit too much, I think. And fill it in. I haven't done a repotting video in so long. I feel, I feel like I'm not a natural at it. 
Whereas these used to be the my bread and butter. These used to be my thing, I feel like. What do you think my thing is? I don't really know what my thing is. I'm having a hard time with my identity on YouTube right now. I'll be truthful. Okay, so there it is. Again, pretty mangled because also, I don't know if I said, I got these in the mail before I went on my trip and being a neglectful plant, the, neg bleh, the neglectful plant parent I am, I just left them wrapped up in the box for five days. I think they'll be fine, but if they don't do well, it's 100% my fault. And I'm just kind of um, watering. Again, I'm using the liquid art water. I'm just watering like around the edge, the edges of the plant until a little, little by little until it, it runs out the bottom and kind of fills up so that I know that all the soil is pretty saturated. I think that's good for now. So here is where, what we have. And um, this is the saucer I will be using for this plant as it sits on my windowsill. I'll show you where I'm gonna put them now. Cause we're done potting, that was so easy. There's like a cactus needle in my finger. I think I got it. Um, what was I saying? This is where I do keep a lot of plants because it has the south window, the south window in it. And I'm going to put the plant here, which if you watched my cute ways to display your plants or easy ways to display your plants video, um, this was on it and yeah, I think it's gonna be really cute and it'll help perk the plant up with all of the extra sunlight. Oh, that looks really good. And I'm hoping it'll flower here. Oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm really hoping it'll flower here because look, I have this Hoya Bella. It's actually a mixed pot. So I have the Anique, I don't know how to say it, Bois and Louis Bois variety in here as well as the regular variety, but it's blooming like all over, which is really weird because in the past, every single time my Hoya Bella has bloomed or tried to bloom, the peduncles have just fallen off. But this time I ended up with two peduncles that have made it so far. Um, you can see them there. And then I have another one here that's gonna open like any day. Another one right there that's getting quite big. Another one here, like it's really just blooming everywhere. Only on the regular green one though. This is what usually happens. So this is the, not Louis Bois, the other one, variegated one. Um, they usually get yellow like that and fall off, but they're not other than that one. But all of the blooms on the green variety are not falling off, which is awesome. And do I need to water this? I think it needs to be watered. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Anyway, I hate that this window is so backlit, but um, I think plants look really nice here in real life when I can actually see them. That kind of gives you an idea, right? Kinda, I don't know, I don't know. And it has kind of sucked up, the polyneura has kind of sucked up the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more. Uh, because it is, shut up. It is evening time and I want it to be able to absorb as much water as it can through the night so that when the sun is fierce all day through the south window, then it won't, it won't dry up. It'll be well moisturized. Um, and while we're here talking about Hoyas, I might as well just show you. So my Hindu rope that has been in my bedroom forever has bloomed twice. So the first bloom is this little one that half of the little buds fell off when I took it down to water. I was really sad about it, but it also had this cluster, which really fully formed. These Hoya blooms last, well, okay, for most varieties, the blooms last for quite a long time. So this has been opened for a week now, maybe, and they are so lovely. It's just a little flower ball, and let me say, let me tell you. A lot of Hoyas have their own unique smell. This is one of my favorites. It smells, to me, it smells exactly like chocolate covered maraschino cherries. It smells really good. Something chocolatey and fruity for sure. But to me, that's what it smells like. It doesn't smell so much during the day, mostly at night. I love it. I love the smell of it. It makes my room smell nice. So that's definitely a bonus. What's weird though, is my Hoya Bella doesn't really smell like anything. Um, I know a lot of Hoyas only smell during the nighttime to attract nighttime pollinators, but 
for some reason, I just can't find the smell on my Bella. So if you've ever had a Bella bloom before, what did your smell like? I'm a little bummed I can't smell it. But this one, you guys, this one is good. Like I wanna eat it. I already wanna eat them because they look delicious, but this one especially because it smells like chocolate. Oh, it's so cute. This guy, I am just going to keep on my windowsill here, right underneath my Hoya Carnosa, right underneath. And this is a north window. I think it's going to be perfect for this plant. And right next to it, oh gosh, I need to vacuum and wipe down my windowsills. Just ignore the mess. And you know what? I do think that both of these are actually beginning to perk up already. Oh, they are so backlit. It's only been like 20 minutes since I watered them. And look at this already looks so much better. The leaves aren't as wrinkly. It's gonna be all right. Yay, you're gonna be all right, you little lavender scallop. I'll show you this one a little better too. Oh, it's looking much better. I don't know, maybe it's just in my head, but in my head, it looks a lot better. Okay, so there they are. What do you think? Yeah, guys, that's it. That's all I had to do. That was not bad at all, huh? I am happy my plants are doing awesome right now. Like, I have to be honest. Sometimes I go through, I go through phases where I kind of struggle with them, but it's been a while since I've had one of those faces, which is nice, very nice. Please help my channel out by giving this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how you like this type of content and leave a comment. It's very, very helpful for me. And yeah, if, let me know what more videos you'd like to see or if you have any questions about these plants I repotted, Hoyas, I don't know, anything I showed you, leave a comment. At any fleeting thought you have, leave it as a comment. <laughs> I don't know. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. 